Colombo, Colombo. Ah oui, Monsieur Colombo, party of three. Walk this way, please. Uh, we trust that you will enjoy the dinner. Thank you. Uh, sir, uh, could you please send me the wine steward? But of course. Uh, white wine steward or the red wine steward? Monsieur Carcini, mademoiselle, this table will not work. Dear Colombo, what is this? A table by the kitchen? This will never do. I'm sorry, Monsieur Carcini, but when he walked Just in, I never imagined... Just get us a better table and stop simpering. Immediately. I wonder what this check is going to look like. I tell you, I always get nervous when a place has a menu that doesn't include the prices. J.P. Morgan was once asked how much his yacht would cost. His reply, if I remember correctly, was, uh, if you have to ask the price, you can't afford it. In this restaurant, if you have to look at the prices on the menu, you can't afford to eat here. Well, listen, it was good, wasn't it? Superb. That's the important thing. And equally superb was your wine selection. I, I must admit, I would never have thought of Mosul with the oysters. Or Zinfandel with the meat. I'm astounded by your newly acquired knowledge. I can't wait to hear what you've planned for our after-dinner wine. I tell you, I did my homework very well on that. Wait one moment. Uh, I know exactly what I want. I'm just praying that they have it. You got a minute? Monsieur. No. Bring me a bottle of Ferrier Vintage Port, 1945. Ferrier? 45? You do have it, don't you? My dear Colombo, I'm afraid you've set this man an impossible task. I'm familiar with this particular vintage port, and I, I would um, hasten to wager that he does not have it in his cellar. Moreover, the price would be prohibitive. Allow me to check on it, sir. Hope I have it. <laughs> I also hope my wife doesn't find out what this meal cost. Where is your wife? You said she might come along. Well, we had a little trouble with a babysitter. You see, our regular girl has her finals tomorrow, and everybody else is down there at the rock concert. You know what it is when you have kids. You know? My dear Lieutenant, it's not fair for you to pay for this entire meal. At least let me take up half of it. No, no. I insist. No. Not on your life. I deserve to pay for this. Uh, you know, I embarrassed you by suspecting you, and, uh, no, no, sir. This is on me. Uh, the fact is, I'm just happy you didn't report me to my superiors. I should be grateful to you. We had one bottle, sir. Oh, terrific. Good to have me. Thank you. Oh, my dear Karen. I implore you not to smoke. You'll ruin an exciting taste experience with the bitterness of the tobacco. Very well, Mr. Adrian. Terrific to me. Drinks all around. <laughs> Drinks all around. <laughs> mm, wonderful. What body. This is dreadful. 
Phew, are you? This is dreadful. Don't you realize that a great wine is like a great work of art? It has to be nurtured. It has to be taken care of. You have subjected this port to a temperature in excess of 150 degrees. Such disdain cannot and must not be tolerated. I advise you not to pay for the check. But, sir, I think that uh, this wine has been oxidized by overheating. No. Where did you keep it? On top of the stove? I assure you, monsieur. Don't you know any delicate wine spoils by being subjected to a rapid change in temperature? Serving this iodine is an insult. Monsieur Corsini, is there something wrong? Is there something wrong? Everything is wrong. An exciting meal has been ruined by the presence of this liquid filth. Mr. Corsini, it is not our intention, but there will be no check for this table. No, no, oh, no. We have our listen, repetition I insist, no, 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 I insist. Very, very I should meal. No, come, listen. I apologize, I apologize, Mr. Corsini. We had a very good meal, I must. No, thank you very I'm much. It's all right. No, no, it's all right. No, thank you, thank you. No. What is it? Just one more thing.